everybody, this is Will with Get It Digital, and welcome to our How It Works series. Today, we're going to be discussing SLR cameras. We sell quite a few SLR cameras at Get It Digital, and we felt it might be helpful to people to understand how an SLR camera works, and therefore, you'll become more familiar with the cameras that you use, and hopefully become better photographers. Today, we're going to be discussing a brief history of the single-lens reflex or SLR camera. We're going to discuss how SLRs work, and then we'll talk about going digital. Basically, we'll be discussing how digital photography has changed the way that we use SLRs today. So let's take a look at a brief history of the SLR camera, and we'll go from there. Before we discuss the history of the SLR, it's important to understand the history of photography in general. Um, in the old days, and they could... All right, well, I guess we'll, we'll go with it. Um, in the old days, uh, photographs were actually recorded on a metal plate that was coated with a silver substance that darkened when exposed to light. Then, film was introduced, which allowed the cameras to be more portable and allowed you to take them uh, more places, and there were also, uh, film was more heat resistant and uh, basically made taking pictures more convenient. Um, then, in 1949, uh, I'm expecting a change right now, yes, 1949, uh, Contax introduced the Contax S, uh, which was the first SLR camera. Uh, the first SLR camera basically allows you to look through the lens um, when you were framing a picture in the viewfinder, uh, which made it significantly more accurate. And we'll discuss, obviously, how that works um, in the portion about how we discuss the SLR cameras and how they work. Um, then, in 1959, uh, Nikon introduced the F-Series, uh, and that introduced 35mm film, um, which was a standard film size that allows you to get excellent pictures, but was also small enough to be convenient. And having a standardized format for film allows you to purchase film just about anywhere, uh, and it would fit your camera. Uh, the SLR soldiered on uh, until the late 1990s, um, when Canon uh, and Nikon introduced the first SLRs. Um, the first true consumer-oriented digital SLR, or SLR that used a digital sensor to record the image electronically instead of using film, uh, was the Digital Rebel in 2003. And from there, uh, digital SLRs have advanced to a point where now they can take uh, high-definition video, uh, they allow you to get uh, 8 frames per second or higher uh, capture, uh, which obviously means that you need to have a much better processor in the camera. And again, we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but right now, uh, the digital SLR is a very easy to use device and gives you the convenience of using a digital memory. And it also allows you uh, a very flexible photographic experience because you're able to change the lenses uh, for different situations. Uh, so let's take a look at how the SLR works. Um, let's take a look inside. The SLR is actually divided into two pieces. Um, first you have the body, which contains the sensor inside of it. Uh, it holds the memory, the battery, and so on and so forth, and actually has the processor uh, that takes the images and converts it to electronic data. And then you have the lens, uh, which is detachable on an SLR camera and allows you to change the lenses for different situations. Um, but uh, again, you are actually looking through the lens when you're taking a picture with an SLR camera, which is, again, a great advantage as far as the accuracy of frame is concerned. So let's discuss the way that an SLR camera actually works. Um, first, you have uh, a lens, and that transmits the light from outside into the camera. Uh, it has various lens elements inside of it that shape the light and make the picture more clear, uh, and also uh, could possibly distort it depending upon which lens you're using to give you either a fisheye effect, for example, or a pinhole effect. Um, but essentially the lens again transmits the light from outside of the camera to the inside of the camera. Uh, then you have a mirror, a uh, reflex mirror actually, which is where um, a single lens reflex uh, camera derived its name from. Um, but you have the reflex mirror, which is at a diagonal uh, inside of the camera body, and it actually reflects the light up through a focusing screen and condenser lens, 
uh, which again further shapes the light, into uh, the pentaprism, which is on top of the camera. Um, from there, inside the pentaprism, uh, the light is actually bounced around uh, until such point as it actually uh, reaches the viewfinder uh, correctly. Uh, when you're looking through the mirror, and I'm sure you've seen this before, uh, it actually reverses the image. Uh, so in order to straighten the image out, uh, they actually use the pentaprism. Um, the light's reflected in various ways inside of it until it reaches the uh, viewfinder, which sits at the back of the camera, um, right side up. So you're able to see, with a very, very small delay, exactly what you're looking at and what the camera's seeing through the lens. Uh, so it's, again, a very big advantage. Um, when you actually want to take a picture, uh, the mirror itself moves out of the way, and the light, instead of going into the pentaprism, uh, goes to the focal plane shutter, um, which is essentially a cover over the sensor, uh, which is at the very back of the camera. Um, when you hit the uh, shutter release, the focal plane shutter moves out of the way, and the sensor, or the film, uh, is actually exposed to the light, and that's how it actually records an image. When SLR cameras went digital, it changed everything. Instead of recording the images on film, uh, they actually were recorded on a sensor. Uh, now that sensor uh, then takes the data, transfers it over to the processor inside the camera, which is like a small computer inside the camera that uh, takes the raw data and makes it into an image. Uh, from there it goes to a memory card. Uh, there's a lot of advantages to recording digitally, um, and they've improved the processors in the camera to a point where the quality is actually better than the film quality. Uh, I know there are some people out there that still like the analog look of film, um, but uh, digital SLRs nowadays uh, take excellent images and really allow you to capture stunning detail and excellent color reproduction uh, on the digital media. Uh, digital media is also a lot more convenient to use. You don't have to worry about it going bad, um, getting ruined by heat or exposure to light uh, when you put it back in your photo bag. Uh, it's generally resistant to that. Uh, then you take the media, you put it uh, on your uh, computer, and you can edit it, print it, or do what you'd like with it. That concludes our How It Works series on the SLR camera. Hope it's been helpful. You can check out more reviews on our blog at www.getadigital.wordpress.com. You can get great deals on digital SLR cameras, camcorders, and a lot more photo gear on our website at www.getadigital.com. You can shoot us an email at info at getadigital.com, or you can always give us a call. The phone number is 877-528-4432. Again, 877-528-4432. Thanks so much for watching, and happy shooting.